This is Justin Bradford of Penalty Box Radio coming to you from Bridgestone Arena where the Nashville Predators were victorious 2-0 or the visiting Edmonton Oilers in front of a sold out crowd Thursday night. Now all goals and points were scored by the first line of Ryan Johansson, Philip Forsberg and Victor Arvidsson. Defenseman Ryan Ellis was also on the ice for both of those goals. Yeah, they're building some chemistry. That second goal was a, a beauty. Um, RV, great shot on the first one, too. But um, they're starting to make plays with each other, kind of know where each other are. And um, it's a good sign for our team when um, you, you can find some chemistry. The victory was a good bounce back for the National Predators, considering they lost Tuesday night to the Pittsburgh Penguins after a pretty dismal second period, but really did bounce back and had a strong third period. They carried that momentum into tonight. Yeah, just be accountable. Um, whatever your decision on the ice, just be accountable. And um, whether you think you should pinch, whether this, that, you know, with your effort, everything, just be accountable. And uh, we came out. And guys are back checking hard. Uh, I love their game from start to finish. And, um, it's great to see. If it wasn't for goaltender Pecorini, this game could have been very different, as head coach Peter Laviolette stated in his post-game press conference. He was unbelievable tonight. As you know, as as good as it feels to walk away with a shutout. You know, we still we still gave up a lot of chances to a very good team and a very talented team, like you said. And uh, the fact that it, it remained a zero is has an awful lot to do with him and the way he played tonight. He was outstanding. Um, it seems like he saw everything very clear. And I think that some of that is the defense and boxing out and allowing him the opportunities to see that puck that's coming in and how we tried to defend and trying to shut down that top line of Edmonton, but. Uh, in the end, there were still some, some really good looks that they got. He was, he was terrific. And for Rene, it was obviously a big victory for him to get the shutout in front of the home crowd. Yeah, I've seen the stats. I, I, I think I saw them before the, uh, the game in, in Edmonton. I, I, I saw it. I haven't really thought about it. But, uh, it's, it's funny how it goes. Sometimes you have a, have a lot of success against one team. And, and for me, it seems to be that team. But. Uh, I try not to pay attention to those things too much. I mean, every time it's a new game and a new challenge, and this year they have a totally different team and a lot of skill and talent on their on their group. So it was a good game by us, though. Arvidsson, with his goal and assist tonight, moves up to 32 points, good for third on the Predators' scoring list. Now, it's his evolution as a winger and as a player that really has head coach Peter Laviolette excited about his play. It's the fact that Arvi's evolved into the player that he is. His speed, his tenacity, his ability to get his shot off as his goal. Um, Ryan wants to get the puck to guys that can make plays and, and shoot the puck. Um, but I think you, you try something and you look for it to work. Uh, we tried to stay patient with it. Um, but I think the, probably the biggest factor in it, not to take away from Philip and Joey because they're playing excellent right now, but I think it's just the fact that Victor has evolved into the player that he is, and now they're getting an opportunity, I think, to try and find some chemistry over time. And that will do it from Bridgestone Arena, where the National Predators are victorious 2-0 over the Edmonton Oilers. They'll be back here at home Saturday night against the visiting Detroit Red Wings. This is Justin Bradford for Penalty Box Radio.